Here we are with the Oddworks, and we're going to show a quick demo of Oddworks running Ross from Willow Garage. A lot of people have been asking about uh, how that all works. So in this case, there is a Ross node running on the phone. Uh, well, not quite running yet. We're going to start it in a moment. And here is the RX graph. And what we're going to do today in this demo is we're going to show how you could use a pre-made uh, Ross node for uh, interpreting a PS3 joystick. Uh, and you can see it's plumbed up in the Ross graph currently. And now he's going to start up the Ross node on the phone. Okay. And it's going to appear... First, I was going to start up uh, an extra one on the, the PC, uh, which is our Oddworks PS3 node. Uh, and so it takes uh, data from the joystick and it publishes it to the Oddworks. And now we'll start the node on the phone. And it asks for the master uh, URL, which is the URL or the URI of the computers. So I'll say OK. So he pops up here, and uh, what you can see is over here, we have a new node pop-up, which is Android Gingerbread Ross Texture. I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, so that is uh, on the phone, and when I move the joystick, uh, it publishes messages to the phone for motor right and motor left. And you can see the, uh, the the values on the screen. That's pretty cool. So there's Ross in action using a pre-made node that already existed for the PS3 remote, which they use on the PR2 all the time over at Willow Garage. Yet it's talking to a Ross node running on a smartphone on an Oddworks dock.